In this tutorial, I'm going to go over a couple of uh, key concepts that will help you with section 1.2 part B, number 17 and 18, and this is creating a one month bud budget for a family um, using a spreadsheet document, and also part C, numbers 15 through 16, also known as life plan part 1. Now, I have a couple of things already written up here. Uh, yours does not have to look like this. There are many, many different ways that people uh, create their own budget. This one is just my life plan and what I've done is I've highlighted these three cells and I've done a merge and center. If I don't do that, in fact let's click out of it, it'll just be in that first part and that's fine. And then I have three separate cells. In this case I can just click that and then it makes them one big cell and it puts whatever I have right in the middle. Okay, now remember this is a one month plan. Now this is a plan five years down the road, so my life plan, uh, let's do one month budget for the year 2019. So I'm five years down the road. Now over here I'm going to have some income and these are my planned incomes and I can go up here and I can create different backgrounds, income, purple, pink, green, I don't care, whatever you want, just something, uh, and you don't even have to do that, you can leave it blank. Some people, I can show you another one, it can look something like this. Very simple, it can be straightforward just like you saw in the pamphlets and examples. So I'm just going to come back to this one because it's my personality, I'm a visual learner, and if you don't have uh, two wages or uh, any other different types of income, then only one of those is necessary. And I can come up here and delete that, or I can bring it back, whatever you need for yours. Now here, uh, I have some withdraw, uh, some withdrawing from the wages, so retirement, uh, taxes, different things can come out and then I want my total income or you can total it at the bottom just like I showed on the other one. For this one you can total it down here. So here just to kind of get you familiar with Excel, Excel is going to work like a calculator and so I can tell it right here, I'm going to press equals, I want um, this to be added to this. So to get Excel to work like a calculator, I'm going to press equals and that automatically tells Excel please calculate what I'm doing here. Then I'm going to cell reference. That means I'm not going to type in the number. I'm going to reference this different cell over here and it says that number in this cell needs to be and then I'm going to press add and reference the next cell. This one. Now if I have money going into a retirement savings, I'm going to subtract this one. Press enter and that tells me the total income and it calculates it for me. Or if that retirement is coming from, from an account into my account, so it's my retirement and I'm withdrawing that, I can just say that's part of my income and I'm going to, uh, I could add all of those by doing a cell reference equals to make it calculate this plus this plus this and enter and that's the total income. There's one more way of doing this. Instead of typing out every single thing, cell referencing each one, I can press equals and Microsoft Excel has built-in functions already working for it and I just need to tell it what to do. So I'm going to type in sum, then shift 9 to give myself a parenthesis and it says, okay, which cells would you like to add together? And so I'm going to come up here and cell reference. So I'm going to left click, hold that left click down, and pull that left click saying, I want you to add all three of these cells. Unleft click, and then press shift zero. And that's another way of doing a sum. Okay, down here, I can list out all of my different expenses for a budget tithing and donations, savings, mortgage, groceries, put all of those things. If you have very specific things for your family, put them in there, such as um, 
music lessons or sports equipment or different kinds of things for your family and then put in the amount of money that you think will happen in the year five years from now so whatever uh, year it is at five it happens to be the year 2014 so uh, for this projected budget it'll be the year 2019 and just kind of guess what sort of things might be um, another thing if you have uh, children that you're planning on going on a mission you can put in here a mission fund and you're going to be taking out money for that in uh, five years from now then again we're going to do a total down here I can either add each one of these individually or the fast way now that I've showed you since I have so many of them and I don't want to say add this and self reference it 17 times for how many things I have in my expenses I'm going to press equals to make it calculate like a calculator and use the built-in function sum then give yourself an open parenthesis then left click and hold and then drag it down to show me all of the cells that I want to add together and press enter there we go so now I have uh, all of the expenses added now for my benefit it'll be nice to know what's called the cash flow so I can say total left I can say cash flow whatever you want to call it it's totally up to you then I'm gonna press equals now in this case I need the income subtracting the expenses income cell reference one left click subtract come down here and subtract the expenses one left click to cell reference press enter there we go now we have a cash flow now uh, the nice thing about this is if I come in here and change something so let's say the phone changes to a hundred dollars instead of doing this by hand notice if I type that in it's going to automatically change the expenses and the cash flow because it was a cell reference and not a number reference so that's one way of doing that now that was the life plan section uh, 1.2 parts B and C different ways to do that it's a one month plan five years in the future so these are just projected budgets um, whether you're uh, planning on retiring or if you're moving to a different job or if you no longer have school expenses kind of plan that in for your family and your specific things. Alright, I hope that helps with your life plan.